Well, hello, Bill. This is Dave from ChiefTutor.com. Thanks so much for sending in the picture. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, so you're trying to make a unique roof like this. And we'll notice they did that on, on most of their gable roofs here. They started at one pitch, and then it stops at one point, and then goes up at a higher pitch. So let's go ahead and do that. I went ahead and made sure I was selecting uh, Allow Editing in Home Designer Products. I can click OK. I'm going to zoom in here, and here's your porch, and there's your roof. But let's take a look at it in the 3D so we can see kind of what we're trying to accomplish. And I know you said just ballpark the space, which is no problem. And we want to be careful of the windows above. OK, so that's good. Why don't we, in fact, um, I'm going to turn off my layers here and here. And I'm going to grab this tab, and I'm just going to kind of move it over to this spot so we can kind of see it in the 3D as we go. Okay, so I'm going to go to the Roof tab, and I'm going to line my cursor up with the edge of your roof, and it kind of, if you have your snaps on, it'll kind of pick up that roof. So I'm going to go just past this column here. I'm going to go right about here. Click, drag down, and then move up to about that column there, and left-click one time. I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to kind of... Rotate my cursor right along here, click, drag, and move up to about there. And so what it did is Chief should pick up the height of the eave right here where this roof is at the lowest point. Pick it up and draw a roof plane going up. Then I can do the same again coming off of the top of this ridge, which is the top of this ridge page. By just taking my cursor, I'm just kind of mulling it over the line I want to start at. And I'm going to start here and click and drag down. Let's make this a little deeper and move up. And do the same here. You can click and drag down and move up. And so we can kind of see it kind of coming together there. And so what I can do, the reason why I wanted this a different size so I can easily grab one between the next, you know, so I can easily manipulate them. So I'm going to start this. I'm going to double click it. And I'm going to open up the specifications. And here's where it has my fascia top height. So it's right here where these two roof planes are connecting is this is that height and I'm going to lock it. So I'm telling the computer, I want you to leave that the same, but jump up in the pitch and we'll go from six to, I don't know, let's say 10. And then we'll do the same here. We're going to double click this guy and we'll lock him and we'll say 10. And just so we know that the two will meet, I'm going to grab one side, drag it back, and then I'm going to use this conjoin button right here which is join roof planes, and I want it to join to this side of the roof plane. So that way it tags those two correctly. Now I'm going to move it back to here and click this one and move it back to here and just kind of line all these roof planes at the end so they're the same. Whoop, that one I sent back a little too far. So there it goes. And now I'm starting to cut around that roof plane and get that angle that I want. And I can kind of see that it looks like it might clear the roof okay. Uh, but it also is higher, and it probably will have to go to the stucco wall. Um, let's look at that picture again that you sent us. Uh, this one, yeah, is going to go to that wall that's behind it. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So it uh, looks like that's going to hit the wall, so I'm going to use this as a reference. I'm going to turn on my layers for my second floor. Go up, go down. Now I can see my second floor is here. It's not too far away. Um... Oh, actually, it is far away. It's, what is it? It's this guy? I'm going to turn off my layers. I'm getting a little confused. Okay, so it's right there. It looks like that's the wall. So if I go and turn on my um, layers, display options, I'm going to turn off. We have attic walls probably turned on here. This attic walls. I'm going to uncheck that to get rid of those attic walls. Just to make it a little clearer for me to understand where I'm going with the roof. So, again, I'm going to turn on my layers, and it looks like that is right there. Um, okay, so selecting that roof plane, let's start cutting in this roof. So I'm going to select this roof. I'm going to hit three on my keyboard, which is the same as the cut tool. And I'm going to snap it right there. And three on my keyboard, snap it right there. And three on my keyboard, I'm going to snap it somewhere in here. And that way I can kind of pull the roof plane back. And I can start the process of adding this one, hitting number two to that one. So that edge is connecting to that edge, which goes right through. You'll see the, the wall above, but that's okay. Then I want this edge, hit number two, to click to that edge. And again, that'll go right through the wall there as well. And then this one, I'm just going to pull back to our stucco wall, which is here. And I take this one and pull back to that stucco wall, which is there. 
And then I just need to trim the fat on these because these have gone through the upper wall, which is this red line. That's why I was using the layered uh, blinds. But I can just use your wall there. So I hit three to cut it. I'm going to cut it right there. And I'm going to bring this roof plane back to right there. And thereby no longer cutting through that wall that's happening right there. Okay, so I'm going to select this. I'm going to hit number three to cut it right there and bring that edge back so it doesn't cut through my wall. So that way when you frame the house and you build the house with the framing tools of Chief, it'll frame the roof correctly going up against that wall without blowing through that wall. So if we go back to the 3D here, we can see it kind of formulates everything for us. And I just need to pull it back now because now it's just coming out a little further than you probably want to go. You want to send it probably like right there and I can do this easier I think in the 2d because when I grab a line I want to pull a roof back I can use my cursor to just kind of touch the the roof next to it and that that way I'm aligning the two together easily so again I select this edge and I just drag it easily right on over to that edge and come back here and let's do the same here and I think we've accomplished our task of making the roof the way it should be okay Hope you like that. And again, you can change the pitch. You can change um, if you think that this is too much. You can change the pitch a little lower and then increase the width on that one. You know, it's real easy to manipulate at that point. If you just go into the control settings of double clicking that roof pitch and keeping the starting point, which in this case is 122 is right here, that starting point. You want to lock that down and you can change the pitch to whatever you want. But hopefully this is uh, what you're after. Um, thanks for watching the video. Hope you learned something new. And uh, we'll talk to you guys again next time.